you. I'll tell you. I think that guy's CEO idea was great. Those four dummies. Huh? Anyway, but I'm just an audience member. What the hell? The war is happening, Ooh. but life still has to go on. That's what the segment is all about. Let's go out to the streets and see what's happening. It's a little something we... Look at this. You got the homeless guy with the mouse trying to beg for money. And even the mouse is like, hey, what do we do? Well, I wouldn't give us money. Why? Because I'm a white mouse and you look like an Oak Ridge boy? I don't get it, Willard. You stupid idiot. I should have been with Crispin Glover. I'd be making some real bucks. Uh, look at this guy. He hasn't worked in two years. He just leaves his house every morning. Gets on his cell phone, which has already been cut off. I figured out why they won't hire me in these interviews. My coach from 1985 stands there. He's like, I don't know. I'll just stand here. Maybe my job will come back. Okay. Here's the plan. Nobody's going to know. We walk in to Kitty Peabody. We blend in with the rest of the stockbrokers. <laughs> Once we're in there, you take off your mullet and just kind of blend. I said if I got to Meg Ryan, Harvey would be excited. He loves Meg Ryan, but it didn't work sexually. Uh, you marry a claims adjuster, you get a claims adjuster. Hey, she told me she liked me as a friend. Me too. Me too. Man, we got to do something, man. We're just not dangerous enough, you know? Why don't we do something crazy this year? I mean, this is crazy for spring break, walking around Washington Square Park. But next year, let's go to, like, Long Island, something. Oh, yes, good advice from my brother. He tells me, oh, yes, leave Nepal with the beautiful women and the gorgeous weather. Come to New York. You can serve uh, fat people from Missouri stale pretzels while they try to uh, press their face against the Today Show. Yes. Oh, I had tenure. I was the chairman of the department. And that damn Devin, she came in. She transfixed me. Oh, I couldn't stop. She knew what she was doing. I gave it all up. It was worth it. Ugh. Oh, for crying out loud. Do you realize now what I, I got to remember? Okay. Two in the head, drop the gun, jump in the car and drive. Two in the head, drop the gun, jump in the car and drive away. Okay. Just that casual. Oh, yes. Good move. Definitely. You're smart, my brother. I'd like to stab him in the face with a fork. We kid people, but none of those people were harmed during the making of that thing, and that's the important thing. I don't want to promise anything, but if you stick around, there's a lot of money involved in Act 4. A lot of money. Don't miss it. We'll be right back. Yeah.